Well, we're back here with Don Verlin. We're talking about the last two games as we wind down over the regular season. On the road, Chicago State, Kansas City. It's been a while. It was the, the first two conference games. How much has your team changed from when you first played them to now? Well, quite a bit. Uh, we were watching the film early earlier this week, and, and, and um, we've changed it quite a bit. Obviously, playing some different personnel, playing a little differently, playing a whole lot better than we were the first time. But Chicago State and University of Missouri, Kansas City are both ahead of us in the standings. There are huge games this week as far as the conference seeding goes. There are huge games, but they're winnable games. I mean, you can arguably say that both those games in the Cal Spectrum easily could have won. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, you know, both of them were right down to the wire. We lost at the buzzer to, to Chicago State, and it was a very close basketball game against Missouri, Kansas City. Both those teams are playing good basketball. Uh, Missouri, Kansas City has played very well of late, and so has Chicago State. So we're looking forward to getting out on the road and, and trying to improve our conference seating this week. You've always talked about all this show long that play your best basketball in, in, in late February, early March. We're here in early March. When you take a look at game planning this week, do you change anything because these games have a little bit extra on them? No, you, you just go stay the course. Uh, you know, what you've got to do is, is just continue to do the things that, that are going to help us be successful in the conference tournament. The one thing we have to do is shore up our rebounding a little bit. Uh, we, we, we didn't rebound the ball well enough Saturday night versus Seattle U. But what we got to do is just continue to do things better. Uh, down any time late in the year, your margin for error goes down, and you got to take advantage of, of your opportunities. And obviously, these are big opportunities this weekend uh, at, at Chicago State and UMKC. Do you worry about nerves at all with you, with your players realizing these are the last two regular season games? No, not at all, because, you know, it's at the point of the year. It's, it's March Madness time. It's time to play. It's, it's what we've been playing and working for for six or seven months. So, I mean, we're a seasoned team now. We've, we've played in a, a, a number of different arenas, number of different venues. Uh, we'll be ready to play. What we got to do is just be aggressive and come out right from the get going and be aggressive for 40 minutes. There's been so many new faces on this team. And I remember at the very beginning, you talked about that a key to this season would be how well these guys gel together. As we wrap up the regular season, how have you felt that's worked out? We're getting better. Uh, you know, what I tell you is, is early in the year, I was a little disappointed with the way things have come together, but that's probably to be expected. As a coach, you never have enough patience. And, and, but, but I've been really happy with the way we have come together. We've actually played over the last four weeks, we've, we've played some good basketball. You know, we've, we've beat New Mexico State. We, we, we've played really tough at the league champions, uh, Utah Valley. We, we played good over uh, the last homestand versus Northridge and Grand Canyon. And so I, I think we're getting better, um, you know, and what we got to do is continue to improve these last couple of weeks as we head into the conference tournament. Obviously, you hear the phrase must win game, different things like that. I'm going to ask you that. Do you feel that these are must win, these last two? No, because, uh, you know, every game's important, but whether it's, you don't ever want to put the tag, it's a, a must win game in case you lose. I mean, uh, our. Our whole key is there's three games at the end of this year, and, and they're going to happen in two weeks, and, and that's where our pot of gold is. Uh, you know, no matter what you've done, when you get in the conference terms, you win three games, you're going to the NCAA tournament, and that's obviously what we're focused on. Obviously, it should be fun. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. There's only two games left in the regular season, and it's both on the road for the Vandal men. Meanwhile, the Vandal women can call themselves regular season WAC champions. We'll talk with Tom Purvis and John Newley next on Inside the Idaho Vandals.